What is up guys, COD Gameplay here, and today I have another match of Domination Ground War on WMD. I'm using the AUG with Sleight of Hand Pro, Tack Mask, and Flak Jacket Pro, I believe. And then my kill streaks are Blackbird, Shopper Gunner, Dogs. So I want to talk about three things right off the bat. So first thing is, I've been playing a lot of Marvel 2 rec recently, and every time I live stream, everyone's always ask asking for me to play Marvel 2. Now, all I post is Black Ops, but I want to know, do you guys want to see some Modern Warfare 2 gameplay? Because I can probably end up getting some gameplays if I really try hard on the game, or if I snipe it, I really try. But right now, I'm just going for, like, montage clips, just messing around, because I'm in the point where Call of Duty's fun and everything, but I just want to mess around. I don't want to go for, like, super hard, try hard gameplays on Black Ops. I just want to kind of have fun with it uh, at the end of my server and just kind of mess around. So, do you guys want to see Modern Warfare 2 gameplay? First thing. Second thing, I am going to no, you know I'll, I'll do that next. Second thing, I want to talk about the kill streaks. So I've never actually talked about this, but I'm running Blackbird Chopper Gunner Dogs, and the reason for that is because dogs are beautiful. Now, when everyone shows the combat record, they're like, "Dogs, why do you use a gunship?" Now I'll tell you why you don't use a gunship. Chopper Gunner plus dogs equal equals absolute rape. I'm serious. Okay, so if someone has a what is it, Sam Turret, or if someone has a Strella, you are absolutely screwed with that chopper gunner, right? Now, if you call out dogs and that chopper gunner at the exact same time, the chance of that person being able to actually Strella you while you have that chopper gunner out is a little bit lessened. Now, if you don't have any dogs out, you will get shot down pretty fast, unless you have a lobby with no Strellas at all, which is actually kind of unlikely. unlikely. And so, dogs I use all the time instead of gunship because... Not only because they help me with my chopper gunner, but it's a lot safer because I didn't want to be getting my chopper gunner shot down and then get my gunship shot down as well. That's such a waste of it. two kill streaks that could have been used way more wisely. So I suggest everyone running chopper gunner dogs. That is if you can actually get those kills. And you can't go low. Go low kill streaks, UAV, counter UAV, and maybe um, what else? Blackbird. I always I tell everyone to run Blackbird. But anyways. That was my little tip of the day for kill streaks. So uh, what I want to talk about was PAX. I'll be in PAX Prime, Seattle. In uh, look, look how I had to wait for him to pass me. I didn't want to kill myself. That was close. So I'll be in PAX Prime in Seattle this weekend, Saturday and Sunday. Now, if all goes correctly as planned, I should have two videos going up on both Saturday and Sunday combined. So I'll have one video go up each day. So that is with the schedule or upload custom time thing. I saw Small Beans actually do it. I've never, I've always noticed it, but I've never thought that it worked. And apparently it's only for partners only. And so that is legit meow. Because if I can upload, tell, tell like the thing to upload and it'll actually get into sub boxes. Not only is that good for me putting out a video when I'm away, but actually putting out a video if I want to upload overnight. And I want to post a really high quality video because what happens if I upload a really high quality video with my internet speed, I will not be able to upload it. It'll take me literally 40 minutes. And when that happens, most of the time all the sub boxes are bumped down. No one, ha no one actually sees the video. So if I set it, upload it overnight, set it like in the morning for people to watch, it'll be a really high quality video and uh, it'll be beautiful. So what I another thing is that PAX Prime, Seattle... I want to know if any guys are actually going to be there. If you guys are there, be sure to say hi. I'll be wearing my Machinima Respawn t-shirt with COD gameplay on the back. If you don't know what I look like, check one of my recent videos on my channel. Scroll down a bit, you'll see it. I have my face on there. Now, it, PAX Prime, if you don't know what it is, you're probably thinking that I'm speaking gibberish. It is a gaming convention. Now, developers and massive gaming companies all go under one huge roof convention center in Seattle. And a whole bunch of gamers go there, and I just have a ton of fun, go through all the booths, see what's up in the gaming world that's coming up. It's basically, we get to play a whole bunch of games that aren't even released. Battlefield 3 will be playable, um, Counter-Strike, the new Counter-Strike, I can't, can't believe what it's called, um, Counter-Strike Global something. It's coming on 2012. That will be playable beta. We'll get beta codes. So I'll definitely be all over that. Apparently it's on Xbox and PC, but beta's for PC. So I'll probably get destroyed, but it looks absolutely sick. 
So I'm going to play Battlefield, um, not Call of Duty because that will be Call of Duty XP and sadly I'm not going to that. What else do they have? They have Activision. You know what I actually have? I have the map right here. Let me check. So the map is, there's, let's see, Bethesda, Sony, Microsoft, Nintendo, there's Alienware, Activision, EA, Valve, 2K Games, Capcom, Riot Games, there's um, Turtle Beach, Mad Cats, Gunner Optics, and tons more. Tons more. It is on two levels of the convention center, which is absolutely massive. And hopefully I'll be able to do the whole thing in two days. What I've heard from other people that went, they said that, like Tucker, he went for three days last year. He said that um, he did the two days, and basically on the Sunday, they went there for like an hour or two hours because they already did everything that they wanted to. So hopefully two days will be perfect. Next year, if I plan correctly, I could probably do three days because this year what actually happened is that my friend told me to buy the tickets. I was too lazy to actually buy the tickets and all that crap, and so I ended up only getting one day. Had to go through all the all the stupid stuff of getting a three day paying extra like a hundred bucks for that three day pass and selling my one day so it all worked out in the end but next year we'll definitely plan better hopefully I'll see some of the people that will actually I actually play online with Midnight will be there I play online with him Jericho and tons of other Machinima directors so that'll be actually really neat being able to see someone in real life that you play with like on a weekly basis sometimes even on a daily basis is really neat like I don't, I don't even know how to explain it you're putting a face to someone you play online with and you're in you're in a situation like in gaming situation it's you're I don't know it's hard to explain having a friend over the interweb sounds kinda corny and stuff but it's pretty sick because they have the same interests as you so it's not like you know how some people have real life friends and yeah they're real life friends but sometimes you don't share all the exact same interests and Gaming's a pretty big interest in a lot of people's lives, and so it's it's pretty cool. But anyways, guys, I am nearing the end of this video, and uh, so if if you're going to PAX, definitely follow me on Twitter. I'll be uh, tweeting all the time while I'm at PAX, hopefully. And uh, yeah, so thanks for watching, guys, and hopefully everything goes all as planned with the videos being uploaded. So I'm I'm Cog Gameplay signing out. Peace.